from the very inception of CRC in 1978, the vision of that original group of people who uh, founded CRC was to be a, a ministry to everyone, not just to children and youth, but to families, to adults. For most of CRC's history, the emphasis has been on children and youth, with a strong summer camping program for young people, one that introduces them to Jesus Christ, encourages discipleship and Christian living in a community setting, immersed in the beauty of God's creation. The kids are learning a lot. The kids are learning the fundamentals just about like who Christ was and what he did. But they're also learning a lot of valuable social skills and a lot of skills that they should be able to carry with them through life. It gives me such fulfillment in my heart um, and in my spirit to see these kids learning the truth about God and who he is. Coupled with the summer camping program, the TIMS program has been a life-changing experience for older youth, where they spend a week helping people in the community with home repairs. It's fun, it's a lot of hard work, but I really enjoy it. It's, um, it's kind of nice to talk to the people and to just do some work and hang with friends. It's really fun. It's because you know that you're doing it for God and you know that it's helping people. They talk about your love language and I think my love language is serving and that's how I love people, by serving them, by giving my time to them. But the original vision of CRC also included reaching adults and families for Christ by providing a place where they also could get away for a time of spiritual enrichment. We weren't able to realize that until we finished this lodge in 2014. Now we have the capability of ministering to families. The completion of the brand new White Oak Lodge, along with the dining hall next door, completed in 2006, means that much of the original vision has now been completed. The new facility, furnished in an attractive lodge theme, is expected to attract a steady stream of retreat groups. I look for this building to be a ministry to CRC in that um, Adults will be able to come here, uh, spend time, in, quite frankly, in God's Valley. Uh, doing uh, men's retreats, ladies retreats, the father and son retreats, even father and daughter retreats, but we want to be family oriented, reaching out to families today to help them in what I think is a time of crisis in our nation. Practically speaking, um, Everything you need is right here. I mean, you have the lodge where you can hang out in the great room. It's a great view from the windows. Um, obviously, the fireplace is awesome. And of course, there's all kinds of meeting rooms and um, space. I mean, for the purpose that I'm here for scrapbooking, I can, everything is at my fingertips, so it's perfect. When I walked in, my first expression was, wow. I had no idea what I was coming into. The new lobby here with the fireplace and the furniture is just, whew, just relaxes you. I mean, you just come in and say, whew, it's a different place and it's really wonderful. It's a good opportunity to feel nature and get away for the weekend. One of the benefits of completing this part of the original vision is the income the new lodge will provide to help support the overall ministry of CRC, a ministry that now is embarking on a fresh vision for the future. For years we're youth-based and now we're moving into the adult, uh, the adult area and, and we need some funds so that we can, we can upgrade cabins and our campsites and do some you know, road paving and that kind of thing. To provide those funds, Christian Retreat Center is embarking on a capital fund campaign called 2020 Vision, a fresh vision for a bright new future. As we looked at the camp overall, we've realized that many of our facilities were built back in the 80s and 90s and really need either replaced or refurbished. In addition to reducing the debt from the construction of White Oak Lodge, the campaign will also make possible reconfigured RV campsites to allow easier use and encourage more year-round camping. A new wastewater treatment plant to meet the increased demand from the new dining hall and retreat lodge. Packed stone and paving of the road system at the camp to accommodate increased traffic and keep drivers out of the mud. So we're looking at improving our roads and eventually would like to bring them to a place where we can blacktop most of the road uh, structure within the camp. Another project, the construction of new village cabins and commons. Our cabins were built in the 80s, they're antiquated, they need replaced. 
So we're looking at upgrading those facilities. We're looking at a uh, multi-purpose building because of the groups that come in here. We need a place for them when it's in clement weather, winter time, that kind of thing. So we're looking at adding facilities that will enhance our ministries. CRC has always believed that facilities exist only to enable the building of relationships. Relationships with God and relationships with one another. And so our vision has never changed here. One of the strongest assets that we have is we've been able to build relationships with kids that have been coming in here and now we're going to extend that to adults. Relationships and the building of relationships gives us the opportunity to share Jesus Christ with people who come here and so that's what the camp's really about. Christian Retreat Center has provided a setting where hundreds of people over the years have come to Jesus Christ, where one out of every three young people make some sort of significant spiritual decision while they're here. But maintaining a fresh vision of ministry requires adequate facilities. Just as a church needs to stay current with everything that it does for the surrounding community, I think it's just as important for a camp to do that. When you buy into the fact that it's God's vision, not yours, that this is a way to reach people for the kingdom. Um, you can trust that he's going to bring those ideas and those ways to raise that money to us. I've seen God work so many things out that are just impossible to us to understand. And he wants this place. <laughs> he really wants this place. I feel that we have something the world doesn't have. We have peace and quiet, but we also have God on our side. And, and those two factors will bring a light to this world. CRC provides that light, one person at a time, to children, youth, and adults. With a fresh vision, those life-changing opportunities can continue into the future. I get to learn about Jesus, and I get to meet new friends. It's like a life lesson, and it can change how you are to other people. They're learning um, about God and about friendship and trust and um, and that love is a real thing. Being able to come here to get away from the routine of life, to get away from uh, distractions such as technology. Just to be able to come out and be eight, eight year old kids and run around um, and play games and to laugh and to learn about God, absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind that God is with us. What we've been about is building relationships and leading people to Christ and so I believe people today want to invest in those kind of ministries. With your help, White Oak Lodge represents the fulfillment of the original vision for CRC. A bright new future with expanded ministry opportunities is now on the horizon. Your partnership and investment in this ministry is vital and appreciated as this fresh new vision becomes a reality over the next several years. Let us realize these exciting new possibilities together.